This water hydrant had a low water output, so we decided to take it off at our nursery. We need a lot of water at our nursery at different locations, so when we don't get water delivered from a hydrant, we have to figure out why. So we dug up the hydrant, and where the elbow was, we could see that there was rocks jammed into the, to the elbow. This was caused because we had had leaks other places in the, the system and fixed them, and when we did, the pipe had gotten dirt in it. We tried to flush it, but we don't always get everything out. And this is the result of constriction at a hydrant. Yep. Lots of lodges in there pretty hard. I mean, I can out very well. Oh, there's a lot more in there. <laughs> Hi, this is Bill at Highland Hill Farm, and today I'm going to tell you about an unusual trade that we have for you. At Highland Hill Farm, we have a trade a barter offering where you bring us a roll of pa poly pipe, a black poly pipe, like three quarter inch, one inch, one, one and a half inch. You can use old well casing pipe, things like that. And what we're going to do with it is we're going to allow you to hunt here for each hundred foot roll that you bring us for one day for deer. If you get a deer, you get three free days. And if you get two deer in any part of the season, you can have your black poly pipe back or 25 US worthless dollars. Now what we're going to do with the black poly pipe is we're going to put it around the exterior perimeter of our nursery because the lifeblood of a nursery or a growing operation is water and it's very dry out here. This is in the full sun and we want to make sure that we have water to our plants. So we're going to need a lot of black poly pipe. In fact, we're going to use probably four miles of black poly pipe this year. Now the fence posts that you see here all came in last year from deer hunters who brought a fence post to go hunting. They brought one fence post to hunt one day. And you'll see there's a lot of fence posts out in these fields. Now this is just one of four different farms that we have that you can hunt on in Bucks County. So now I'm going to take you for a little tour around the inside perimeter of this, this uh, growing field so that you can see that I really do need this black poly pipe. And this is not a joke. This is a real barter offering from Highland Hill Farm in Fountainville, PA. Okay, we're off to see inside this fenced-in area. Out in this field we grow green giant arborvitas. And there's also another field on the other side of the road which is all fenced in. And those are areas you can hunt. You can hunt in here and there and down at our Stone Barn Nursery on Route 313 and also on another nursery we have up on Rickert Road and Forest Road in Hilltown Township. The deer do get in here. They can jump this eight-foot fence. They have a good running jump when they're on the highway. They can run, jump right up over this fence and get in. And there are areas where they can get underneath the fence. But we do need to have the water here because we grow a lot of young plants out here, such as these Norway spruce. And this is a southern exposure, so it does dry quickly. So water is an important asset for us on, the, on this particular farm. We do have a well here that we're going to connect to the water system after we build it. The po black poly pipe that we're asking you to bring is going to go along this fence, just along the ground. And we will drain it out during the winter. And because it's black, it won't make algae inside the pipe. That's why we would not want to use a white PVC pipe. We actually have enough white PVC pipe from barters that we did to do the entire property here. But we don't want white, we want black. Black also on the surface of the ground is easy to see. And if we want to cut into it quickly to make a union to have a, a water supply at some place, we can easily do it. And you can see on the other side of the street, we have a lot of young stock. That is all irrigated right now with this kind of irrigation pipe that you see in the back of this truck. And we have thousands of feet of irrigation there that's drip. There's a drip tape. 
Now down through this section of the, the nursery, we have some white pine trees and we have quite a few large river birches. Now we sell thousands of these trees. We, we do deliver and plant all over the east coast. And as you can see, the fence line is quite extensive here. Now these posts that you see here, these are locust posts. Locust posts make a good fence post. They'll last quite a while. There goes a groundhog over there, but not on our property. Thank goodness. He's probably going to live up underneath this pile of brush here and into the ground someplace. These trees you see right out here, these green arborvitas, those are green giant arborvitas. That's a very fast growing arborvita. That one can grow upwards to three feet a year. And down in here, you can see a groundhog hole, a whole bunch of groundhog holes. There's a lot of groundhogs around here. You're welcome to come and hunt groundhogs. There goes a hawk in the horizon. And these are more green giants right down through these rows right here. And there's a lot of rabbits along this fence row right down here where the wet area is because there's a ditch and it's easy for the rabbits to build a, a little hole, a burrow in there. And there's a lot of rabbits. We can drive along here in the evening and shoot four or five rabbits every night. So there are bunches of rabbits. We do spray along the uh, fence row here to help keep the maintenance down, make it easier to maintain. And so you can see it's quite a long way that we need to use the black poly pipe on. And this is just one of four properties where we're going to put black poly pipe along a fence line that we're going to install. Now if you can't bring us black poly pipe to go hunting this year, you can bring us a locust cedar or pressure treated fence post. They just have to be about six inches in diameter and at least 12 feet long for to, for to be able to work for us. And up in this area here, we have some small Norway spruces. We do start digging them when they're about three to four foot tall. And we also sell some seedlings as well of the spruce. There's a bunch of starlings down here. We won't see any deer here today for sure because of the fence. But they do manage to find places to get under, like right there where we had to fill in with rocks. And up in the woods up in here, there is a large area where they can get under the fence because it's up near a creek and it's hard to block the creek and put the fence in because we'll, we'll restrict the flow of water. When it rains, the fence could get inundated with debris and then be swept out of the way. Up in here, we have some larger uh, Sawardia false cypresses and also some larger green giants. We sell thousands of green giants. They're a great plant to use if you don't like your neighbor because it can really help hide the neighbor. Up in this part of the woods up in here, this, this little patch of woods is usually where we get a few deer in here and they stay in here during the day and then wander out into the field here at night. But the fence will not stop all deer. It's only eight feet. To be real effective, it has to be buried in the ground and at least 10 feet tall which would be a monumental undertaking on our part, so we didn't do it. This, this should keep most of the deer out. In this part of the field here, we have some more green giants and some blue spruces started. <clears throat> when you come to hunt, you'll want to leave a business card from Highland Hill Farm on the windshield of your vehicle. That way we'll know who you are, that you're here as a hunter. Now these hose caddies were brought to us by hunters. They brought a hose caddy to hunt for the day. And as you can see, we use those to roll up our irrigation pipe when it's done. And we use quite a few hose caddies as well. So as you can see, it's quite a ways around this, this farm and all the black poly pipe we're gonna need. And we're also gonna do, as I said, across the street in the other farm. 
So again, thank you for watching this video and I hope you had a good time looking at seeing what we're doing here and you understand that we're serious about deer control here at Highland Hill Farm. So if you want to hunt deer, give us a call at 215-651-8329. We also have farms for lease in Bradford County. We have 1,300 acres available in Bradford County for lease. And we also have ranches out west in Montana and in New Mexico that have elk, antelope, and mule deer as well as pheasants. So again, give us a call. If you want to hunt, this is the place to be. Highland Hill Farm, Fountainville, PA. 215-651-8329. Thank you. If you have questions about trees and shrubs, give us a call at Highland Hill Farm at 215-651-8329 or email us at bill at highlandhillfarm.com. If you like this video, I hope you subscribe and please go to the subscribe button and subscribe to our videos. Thank you. Have a nice one. Bye-bye.